What advice could you give to people chasing the bag that are just focused on money and they're not worried about anything else? Because you've been at the top, you are at the top. I won't, I, it's not going to buy you happiness. It's going to buy you the ability to shop and maybe take care of some people. You know, it's all those character defects there. Um, and advice. You know, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. I, I lived it, I've been there. I mean, you know, in the mid 2000s, I was probably at the height of my financial success. I wouldn't go back if you paid me a hundred, you know, two, three hundred million dollars. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. You know, this culture is about the quick money and, you know, what could I do next? And hey, how can I get involved in this? And nothing happens that way. Like you want it to be a slow, appreciative process. So at that time, why that success is coming, you're involving as a human being as well. And you know, people that you're surrounding yourself with or the quality people, people that can mentor you, people you can look up to. Not everybody that, you know, wants to be around a group of talkers and non-doers and on action takers and people that are, you know, flaunting everything to everybody else as if they got the greatest life in the world. And meanwhile, they're going home having no idea how they're going to pay their rent. <laughs> I live in LA. The city's loaded with people like that. So yeah. I want nothing to do with that. I'm an East Coast, you know, kid. We... You know, we, we tell you like it is, you know, I, I, I don't have many friends out here in LA and I'm okay with it. I go out every once in a while, but um, my real friends are back home. You know, my weekends, if I'm not traveling, I'm with my dog Rodney. And, you know, I think Saturdays are my favorite day to work because uh, I'm by myself. I get a lot accomplished. And I think, um, you know, this generation slowly but surely is gonna realize that, you know, it's not all about the money. You're better off taking 25% of what your goal should be and become a fulfilled human being.